um, people are suffering with hunger. In fact, according to a full barometer report in May of this year, between 2019 and 2022, about 72% of Sierra Leoneans go through a lot, a lot of hunger. When we say Salon, we only beat about five countries in Africa. So it really the show say the economic trend in our country is very, very huge. We also see that inflation the increase. Um, government may promise and they reduce it to a digit, but now we inflation still a like double digit. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think um, Parliament for, for 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 serve the cause of the people. Me, they think say them for don't come up with. Um, we are in government they delay for come up with the wage salary and wages um, compensation bill. Me, they think say them for a private member motion for don't they for talk about equitable um, wages across the board. But um, if members of parliament then decide for go uh, make um, this law and begin for tell we say. And for give <coughs> members of parliament the annually 150, um, 170 million euros, which is about $15,000 in a medical allowance. I think uh, for me, it's very, very sad. You ask yourself, what are members of parliament and they do with different? You go ask yourself, that they, what are actually then they do with different? Some of them, not even, according to um, IGI reports, some of them, not even go to parliament. Some of them, not even participate in the. In the how many of them they go back to them constituencies? You look at all of these things. First of all, I, I believe say we motivation. You motivation for becoming a member of parliament. You know, for, you're not supposed to be money. It's supposed to be a public service function for serve the public. But in your country, it's sad that the greatest motivation to politics and power is for let people enrich themselves. In other parts of the world, the greatest motivation for get power. For get um, political office and for serve the public, oh. and by coming up with um, this bill, whether it's private member or public, I think say nobody in a parliament, the leadership in a parliament, no go tell me say they not don't get um, a view. So if you look at we parliamentarians, then particularly for this fifth parliament, you know of the second republic, we don't get about six deaths whenever happen in the life of a particular parliament. As a result of um, what? And most of them deaths, then they, we get critically ill parliamentarians where we they go through difficulties. Because as it is, the house not get anything like a medical insurance, you know, for, for members of parliament. So with members of parliament, they operate in an especially difficult circumstance. No office space, you know, no, no, no better conditions of service given a baseline you know, and looking at, you know, uh, the West Africa sub-region, particularly, you know, Ghana, the Gambia, so, Liberia. So. They find out, say, we members of parliament, they down. Um, um, comparison with Sierra Leone and Kenya MP. Forgetting that the GDP of Sierra Leone is $4 billion, U.S. dollar. And that of Kenya is $98.84 billion, U.S. dollar. They also, they make comparison with Ghana which is about 70, 72 billion US dollar GDP. So I think so them comparison, they know all water. And uh, it shows a parliament insensitive to the plight of the people. They tell me about six parliamentarians that we die. Parliament no see about hundreds of um, picking and they die in a cottage of preventable causes. Parliament no see about hundreds of women where they go born. In fact, Recent reports, Sierra Leone is one of the riskiest places for a woman get belay and bomb picking. Do you know how many chichas are dying of preventable causes? Simple. Malaya, just Malaya, they are dying every day. Do you know how many young people, every now and then, with 98.12 in obituary, you know, young people are dying of preventable causes. So I think so. Then, then, then.